Hey everybody, so I'm here today with a hopefully quick project share. Um, this is a 6x4 journal that I just finished up for a swap with Alette. Hey Alette! Um, we decided to do kind of a small 6x4 journal. Um, Alette likes vintage and soft colors, so that's the path that I went with hers. And um, her for mine, I just told her to like, kind of surprise me. So. Um, I will put a Let's Channel in my description box, you guys, if you are interested. And mostly all of my little images and stuff um, I got from Etsy sellers. So if you're if you see something that you like, just let me know, and I will, you know, just tell me in the comment box, and I'll kind of track down where I purchased it. But let me get started, you guys. Um, this cover is actually from the Marion Smith Journey digital kit so I did not use the papers I just used the cover itself to to make the journal I stitched this really pretty um, crochet trim all the way around with my sewing machine um, I actually took this trim it's that little tiny trim that you get from Joann's in the dollar spot it's actually white but I wanted to kind of make it kind of a soft pink so I dyed it with cherry kool-aid and it turned out really pretty and I just kind of inked up the edges of it to make it, you know, kind of vintage. And I used vintage photo and gathered twigs for the journal just to give it a more little distressed look. So three signatures and then my my closure, I just used this really pretty wood button with just some seam binding. And then I put this little bead at the end of it as kind of like an anchor. So this image is also an Etsy purchase. She's so beautiful. I love her. And then this, um, I actually, you get a full like eight and a half by 11 sheet of all of these words and sayings. And it's from, I know that one is from Lisa's Altered Art. So I just cut those two out. It says forgotten moments. Um, everything is distressed and I use a vintage photo. I used my little Tim Holtz distressing tool. And you can see it's kind of wrinkly because when I sewed it on, it was still a little bit wet. But let's go inside. Here I just have another uh, Etsy printable. Again, I'm not sure. Maybe it's from a Tsunami Rose Designs. I think that's it. Just a little vintage sewing um, ephemera. These are French dictionary, no, they are vocabulary cards. Um, one of the gals on Junctional Junkies bought some, and of course, I had to track some down because they're super cute. They're smaller than what I thought, though. All the papers are coffee stained and baked. And I use the Hobby Lobby, uh, what is it called? Kirby Teasdale. Yeah. My favorite. I love it. With some tracing paper. I made a lot of my own tags out of leftover papers. I love this. So cute. Little ephemera piece there. And it's a tuck spot. Pocket. Some washi. Little, little heart punch there just as a closure this one I left open so just a little scrap piece of paper she can jot some stuff down on that these are little teeny tiny envelopes and this is a diamond dies die that um, I got, not I got, um, I cut some from Leslie's die. Thank you, Leslie. 
she came down for a short visit and brought this die and I cut a bunch of different stuff. All my little clips, I put seam binding. There's that tracing paper. Little pocket. So I hope she likes it. This here edge that I got here, now I've had this tool since scrapbooking. It's this one. I don't even know where I got it, if you can still get it, but I love it. It gives like the different um, little jagged edges. So I used that on this one. Um, here's some of that onion skin paper. This is a little vintage postcard that I got from Anne. Thank you, Anne. So I made a little pocket out of book paper. A vintage ticket. This is my Martha Stewart butterfly punch. This is a little piece, and I think I got this one from Letty. And I swapped, we did a couple of years ago. Um, she's from Scraps to Crafts. Just a coffee stained index card and another journaling spot. This is a little um, seam binding ephemera that I got from Alicia Wheeler. Thank you, Alicia. So I just made a little tuck spot out of that. Some book pages. This is a little envelope. And of course I did some stamping. Um, this is a little ephemera piece that somebody gifted to me. I can't really rem remember who, but Thank you. So just a teeny tiny little um, game card and that one I think I also got from Alicia. Whoops. Martha Stewart punch. This is the Marcy envelope. Oh, this is actually uh, vintage French ephemera that I got from Sabine. Thank you, Sabine. So I put that in there. This is a little belly band with a coffee dyed index card. And I just kind of trimmed it down to fit in the belly band. This is a paper bag and I've just added another printable. Um, coffee stain doily and then I just punched out a Another one out of music sheet paper. Another pocket with a couple more. Well, this one. I like that one. And then this one. Another Etsy purchase. The other side of the bag. And I just uh, folded up this little piece. It's like the end piece from the paper. So I just tucked that in there. Just some extra writing space for her. Another belly band. The other side of that French ephemera. More writing space. Another tuck spot. Another tag and of the scraps and then this one I punched out the heart which is in the um, journal but I thought it was cute so I just added that inside the pocket this is another ephemera piece I think that also came from Letty and that's on the tracing paper I love tracing paper another one of those little envelopes so cute And I just used my Martha Stewart butterfly punch as the closure to keep it shut. And this is the back. And this says this book belongs to. And then my stamp that says the end. 
I love that one. It's Cat's Life Press. And then I'll sign it on the back. And on the inside of the sticky back canvas, I use just craft cardstock. So yeah. So that is a Lutch Journal, you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. Um, thank you for subbing to my channel. And um, I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Bye, everyone.